Grandpa's going to make uh, breakfast. Before we get started, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, good morning. Welcome to Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran Cook. And this morning it's about 9.40 and I am going to prepare our brunch. I am going to make um, fried potatoes. I'm going to cook up a sausage patty, one sausage patty that I'm going to use later on, and three slices of bacon. I have my pan warming up here for the sausage. I've got my uh, water boiling for the potatoes. So let's get cooking. So this morning I want to have Oh, I'll do two slices of bacon. And this is from Kroger. It's the traditional cut. And I like this because it's a little thicker than most bacon is. So there we go. And now I'm going to take one sausage patty out of here and cook that up. Okay, let me wash my hands and then get started on the potato. After touching raw meat and stuff, it's always a good habit to wash your hands before you continue cooking. So, I've got this knife here. Uh, this knife is uh, probably about 50 years old. When I graduated from college, uh, and I was moving to West Chicago, Illinois, from Jackson, Michigan, my mom gave me several things, and this is one of the things she gave me. This knife to use, it's got a matching knife with it, and I just love using this knife. Reminds me of my mom. I think it was a wedding present for her. And so this brings back great memories when I use this knife uh, to cut. So I take the potato. I've washed it already. And I'm going to cut it lengthwise. Just set it down, let it rest, cut it lengthwise. Then I'm going to cut it lengthwise again. Lay the potato flat down. Cut it in thirds. And then dice it up. I, and I do about a quarter inch as I dice up my potato. There's the first one. So I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to cut that in half and then lay it down flat in the third and then dice it up again. Okay, I've got my potato water boiling here. So I'm just going to toss the sliced potato in there. Now, it doesn't take too long for this to cook up. So I'm going to set my timer here for five and a half minutes. That's all the time you need to cook it. And my bacon and sausage is looking good. I'm going to flip it. Oh yeah. Let me put the sausage patty here. Okay, I need to get a plate out so I can put this stuff on the on a plate. There we go. And some paper towel just to drain off the grease. Alright, so our potatoes are cooking. These are about done. So as those continue to cook, I'm going to first slice up some red pepper to put in my potato. So I'm going to take that. Oh, about three slices off of this and then I'm going to dice it up. Oh, I'm doing about a quarter inch as I dice it up. So there we go. I got that all cut up nicely. Put that to the side and now some onion. And I'm going to cut a slice of onion off here. It's got the skin on it so let me get that skin off there. Okay, now I'm just going to Dice this up fine, so real fine. I think I need to get my bacon out of that pan. There we go. Okay, now I've got that ready. And now let me put my bacon one more time. Oh, yes. Bacon looks good. So let me grab the bacon. Take a look at the sausage. The sausage is going to cook a little bit more as I prepare my sausage gravy. Okay, so let's put that there to cool. And I'm going to just take this pan off the burner. 
Uh, I'm going to turn that burner on a little lower heat. I want to keep that warm. Now with our grease, we have a can we use to drain off our grease. So I'm going to drain off most of it. Not all of it because I want some of that bacon fat for the potatoes. There we go. And then we just keep this in the refrigerator. When it's full, we put it in the garbage can. And it's a great way to uh, get rid of your excess grease. And instead of pouring it down the drain. Okay, and now to that I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil. There we go. We don't have much olive oil in here anymore. Okay, so I'm going to pour in about a tablespoon of olive oil into there. All right, so, okay, the potatoes have about two and a half more minutes to go. Sausage is ready, the bacon is ready, so I'm going to return those to the refrigerator. Okay, there we go, I had to find room for it. All right, so as uh, this finishes cooking up here, we got about two more minutes yet. My coffee is ready. I grind my own coffee beans for my coffee in the morning. It just seems to be a little fresher tasting. I have to pour this over the sink because my coffee pot drips. So there we go. Now, the cup I use for my coffee is a Rakasan cup. Okay, my son was in the Army for eight years. He served with the Rakasans out of Fort Campbell, and he was deployed to Iraq and then to Afghanistan, and his final place was in Harrogate, England at uh, Menwith Hill Base. So that's where he finished up his military career. Whoop, I need to keep this out. Military career. So let me take a sip of coffee here. Now as you look around my kitchen here, you'll see up here this red container. That is a bloodborne pathogen uh, container. I'm diabetic, so whenever I take my measurements of my glucose, I've got a container that I use, a small one. Once that is full, filled, then I put it up into that container so I can safely dispose of uh, the bloodborne um, stuff. The what are they called now? The well, the thing you prick your finger with, and then what you measure, put the blood on to measure your glucose. Also on here, you can see a picture right here. And this is a young lady who lives in Africa. Uh, and this is through World Vision. So we support her through World Vision. Okay, and then here's a, another picture of her on our refrigerator. So we get reports from her often. And we communicate with her. She lives in South Africa. All right, and then, ooh, my potatoes are ready. All right, so what I do now is I'm going to move this pan back over here on the burner. I'm going to turn off the timer so it stops beeping. I'm going to turn the burner between 7 and 8. And then I use this strainer. Now I'm going to go strain off the potatoes and then put this here, turn off the burner. We always put a teapot over a hot burner to help cool it a little bit quicker. All right, so here's the potatoes. And we're going to cook those up now. Add some salt. Add some pepper. You know, when you cook at home, instead of going out to a restaurant, not only do you um, have fun cooking, because it's a very enjoyable, for me at least, and you save money. I did a comparison this morning using the computer on cost, and for me to prepare this meal, it cost me about $2 for everything I'm going to prepare. If you go to a restaurant for this meal, you're going to pay seven to eight dollars for it. I checked a couple local restaurants 
uh, looked at their menus for Fifth Street Diner and Judy's Castle, which are two great restaurants here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, their prices came between $7 and $8 for this meal. I'm preparing it for $2, and so far I've spent 10 minutes cooking it. Now, I need to get back my saucepan. Turn the burner back on. So I put it between six and seven. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of butter to melt in there. You know, with these um, green, with the red pepper and the onion in with these potatoes, that just makes a very delicious aroma in the kitchen. As um, oh, I forgot who the cook was. Uh, but as he said on his show when he had it on the um, network, Food Network, he said, I wish they had smell -o vision so that not only could you see what I'm preparing, but you can also smell it. Oh, nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning. Now, I also drink juice every morning, and I love cranberry juice, but cranberry juice has too much sugar for me since I'm diabetic. And then one day I saw this, Diet Ocean Spray. And it contains five calories, and it has less than one gram of sugar. And with um, carbohydrates, two grams of carbohydrates. So it's very great. This is a flavor, it's cranberry mango. At first when I tasted it, I really didn't like it too much. But as I drink it, I get more and more used to the flavor of it. So I, I just like drinking the different flavors of the diet cranberry juice. Oh. When you drink it, first you taste the cranberry. You know, that tartness. And then as you swallow, it follows up with that sweetness of the mango flavor. So I've gotten used to it. And I like that flavor now. It was kind of strange at first, but gotten better. Okay, my butter is melted here now. And I'm going to make up my roux for my sausage gravy. So, I need to put in, oh, I forgot to grab a tablespoon measure, one tablespoon of flour into this butter. There we go. Now I'm going to mix it up. We got the stir that we bought from um, the Amish um, colony in Amana. Yeah, it was Amana, um, Iowa. We bought this. I just like using it to stir things like this. Okay, so now my flour and butter is incorporated together and I'm going to add some milk in here. Okay, about that much milk. I'm, good. I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm going to be adding more milk to this as it goes along. And now we're going to use um, this. I forgot what it's called. And just to break up any lumps that are in there. And we're going to bring this to a boil or a slow boil. We really don't want to boil. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more milk to this. this up again and while that is coming along I'm going to take my sausage patty from here and I'm going to cut it up into small pieces those potatoes are smelling great they're coming along nice they are almost done so now Okay, there we go. There's my sausage all cut up. I'm just going to add that to this gravy mix. Let me flip these potatoes a little bit more. They're browning up really nice. Now to that plate I'm going to add a couple more pieces of paper towel uh, to drain off the potatoes and get the grease off the potatoes. 
we go. All right, now this is cooking up really good. Looks like it's about the right consistency. So now let me add pepper. And for this, it takes lots of pepper. Yes, Janelle, I know you scold me for using pepper because you don't like the amount of pepper I use. A little bit of salt, but with sausage gravy, you need that pepper flavor in it. That's what brings it up. Okay, I think I need a, just a tad bit more milk in here. Okay. Now let's bring that to a boil now, slow boil, and see how it goes. Potatoes look like they are, oh, they're almost done here. Now, one more thing I forgot to grab is my biscuit. Let me find my biscuit in my freezer here. Did I make them up ahead of time? Freeze them. So here we go. Here's my biscuit. I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel here. It's frozen. So I'm going to put it in my microwave. And I'm going to cook it for about 40 seconds on 4 power. If you don't know how to use the power on your, on your microwave, uh, that's the best thing. We usually use 4 power to thaw out our buns. We keep hamburger buns, hot dog buns frozen. If I um, want to thaw two hamburger buns, I will set it for uh, 1 minute 40 seconds on four power and at that point it comes out nice it's just fresh all right so we're about ready here i'm going to pull my plate over here now so you can see me load up my plate okay the bun should be done let's see well it needs about 20 more seconds so 20 seconds on four power now I'm going to start with the potatoes. Here's my potatoes. Oh, don't they look yummy? Yeah. With that pepper there, there's some onion here, and they're really browned up really nice. So, I'm going to just put them on this paper towel here and let them drain. Put the teapot on this front burner and turn it off. Okay, now, my, oh yes, this is ready now. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to slice it, now let's get the potatoes off of here, as you can see the amount of grease then that comes off from those potatoes and it's better on the paper towel than in your stomach clogging up your arteries. So there we go, get rid of that. now. This plate doesn't look too pretty yet, so let's make it look pretty. Okay, so I'm going to move my potatoes all over to one section of the plate. Move the bacon over here. Put my biscuit right there. Okay. Now, when you're serving others, you know, you want to present a nice plate for them. So, now my gravy is about done here. And I'm going to add just a little more milk to this. It's pretty thick right now. Here we go. You know, you don't want it too thin. Uh, you want a certain consistency to your um, sausage gravy. So let me get it back to a little boil here. Okay, it's bubbling nicely, so let me turn off that burner. Right, I start off by pouring it first over my biscuits. There we go, a nice serving. Then I pour the rest of it over my potatoes. Want to get all that goodness out of there? There we go. Okay, so let me put this in my sink over here and put water in it so it doesn't get all stuck. So, now, here we go. Here's my breakfast. I've got Fried potatoes, bacon, biscuit, and sausage gravy. 
So let's give these, oh, I didn't salt and pepper this. Okay, let me salt this and pepper it. Oop, wrong side. I don't want to pour pepper on there. I just want to sprinkle pepper on there. Just a little bit of pepper. There we go. And now, they say the proof is in the tasting, so. Mmm. Get that flavor of that sausage in there. You know that, you know how sausage is. Had a little bit of red pepper in there, so that red pepper flavor came through. And the onions just add a little bit to it. So there's my breakfast with my coffee and my juice. This is Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran cook. And it has taken me, let's see, 20 minutes, almost 21 minutes to prepare this breakfast. So I'd suggest you get up a little bit earlier and prepare yourself for your own breakfast, save some money, and enjoy eating at home and the pleasure of cooking. So this is Cooking with Dave. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran Cook, I can send you a copy by email. Uh, I'll put my email address at the end of this video so that you can send me an email requesting my cookbook and then I will send it off to you. Uh, it's too expensive for me to print the co copies, so you just get it by email and then your choice. Save it on your computer, print it, or put it in trash. It really doesn't matter to me, but I hope you try some of my recipes. This is Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran Cook, signing off right now. May God bless your day, and have a good appetite.